eternal rock of ages, I magnify your name. King of kings, I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. I lift up your name, Lord, to the highest. Father, we thank you for this glorious brand new day that you have made us to see. Father, we thank you, O Lord, for your mercy. Father, we thank you, O Lord, for your kindness. Father, we thank you, O Lord, for your God. By the power that parted the Red Sea, by the power that sent the Red to feed Elijah in the cave, by the power that stood by Joshua, that made the sun and the moon to stay for him to slaughter his enemy. Father, I ask, O oh Lord, let that power manifest in our life this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Lord God Almighty, King of Kings, O oh Lord, mighty man in battle, we thank you, O oh Lord, for the salvation of our soul. We thank you again, once again, for bringing us out from the kingdom of darkness into your marvelous light. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for your love and compassion upon our life. Father, we have come again. Your word says in the book of Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden. I will give you rest. Father, we, your children, have come again. We need your rest. Father, Lord God Almighty, visit us again, especially in your own way, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I surrender my body, soul, and spirit unto you, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, you said in your word that they come by hearing and hearing your word. And the Bible says, without faith, no man can please God. Father, Lord God, your children have come again to hear your word so that they will know how to comport their life, so that they will know how to live their life, so that they will know their covenant rights as the children of God. Father, Lord God Almighty, I pray this hour as many that have come before your presence this morning. Father, visit them, O oh Lord, in your own special way, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, as many that will hear your word this morning, none of them will go back the same way they came, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your word says in the book of John, chapter 17, verse 17, it says, sanctify them with the word, for your word, sanctify them with the truth, for your word is truth. Father, your word also says in the book of John chapter 15, verse 3, it says, ye are clean as a result of the word that I have spoken upon unto you. Father, let your word cleanse your children. Let your word cleanse every one of us and purify us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Let me your name. I put my ears, O oh Lord, in your mouth. Father, speak to me and speak to me. I have no words of my own. I decrease for you to increase. As I open my mouth, let the Holy Ghost give me the utterances to speak your mystery again to your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I silence every spirit of destruction. I silence every assessment. I silence every binary cell spirit in the mind. Father, every satanic transaction, every transaction taking place in the heart of your children, when this message is going on, I silence that transaction, I bind, I cast them out of their mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Let every source be quickened again this morning, and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Brethren, we are looking at a brief exhortation this morning, commanding your money, commanding your money, commanding your day. If you can hear me, shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Commanding your money. Brethren, we all live in a respective country. We all came from a, a, a different country. In that country, there is a constitution or there is a law that governs that country. In other words, those laws have been made for you to know your rights as a citizen of that country. So it is as a child of God. For you to be able to command the money, you need to know your covenant right. You need to know whom you are in the sight of God. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Genesis that you were created with the image and likeness of God. In other words, you are a replica of God. You are a God representative on this planet. So as a God representative, you don't need to live like a slave. You don't need to live in fear. 
What do you need to do? You have to exercise the authority of God, that motto of leadership, that motto of a victor that will be released upon your life. I pray, as many of us that will hear this word this morning, we all will know how to live our life in this planet Earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, when you take a look at the world today, the world is in tabula rasa, according to my reader. The world is in topsy turvy. The world is in tumor. The world is in catastrophe. People are being killed every now and then. Even as we are talking now, maybe there is a suicide bombing somewhere. We all saw the, 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 the way people were being wasted in France last time. We all saw the way people are being wasted in Syria. We all saw the way people are being wasted in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Yemen. Brethren, each time you listen to the news, you will discover that there is no peace on this earth. But as a child of God, God has given us that authority. God has given us that power to be able to conquer. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to turn your Bible to the book of John chapter uh, Job 38 verse 12. Job 38 verse 12, I read. Job 38 verse 12, I read. Then God was talking to Job here. Yeah. He said, as thou commanded the morning since the day, and caused the day spring to know his place. I take it again. As that commanded the money since the day and caused the day spring to know his place, that's, I think that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. If you go to Psalm 121, verse 6, he said, The sun shall not speak me by day, nor the moon by night. Brethren, what was the what was, if you take a, God was talking to Job here, yeah, and if you see what the psalmist was writing there, it was not just writing for writing. The psalmist understand that the powers of darkness have no how to covenant themselves with the soul. They have no how to covenant themselves with the moon. They have no how to covenant themselves with the daylight, with the, with the air, with the breeze, with the wind, in order to destroy people. But there no wonder the Bible said, he said, have respect unto the covenant. Have respect unto the covenant. For the darkest place of the habitation of this world is full of cruelty. Brethren, we are living in cruelty. We are living in a wicked world. We are living in a world whereby there is no mercy, if not the grace of God. That is why it will be dangerous for you to still remain in this earth when rapture has taken place. You know why? Mercy will be gone. The grace of God is still on earth now. The world is like this. By the time the grace of God will go, the world will be anarchy, lawlessness. In that street that you are living, God forbid somebody still remain there after rapture. You will know what is called oppression of the highest order. Brethren, that is why the Lord is making you and I to understand that as far that you are still living on this earth. You need to know your covenant right in order to command your day before you go out in the morning. You know the kind of prayer you need to pray. You have to deprogram and program the blessings of God. As I go, you win, you will lead me. As I go, you son, I command you to shut off your life from the from, from the wicked. Whatsoever anything that I've been programming to the movie, so the star, I shake you out by fire. You son, you will guide me. You son, you will favor me. You will begin to declare upon these elements of the earth. Brethren, the children of the devil, the Bible makes us to understand that they are wiser in their own generation. I remember those days when we are growing up. I see people, they bring this white chalk, this white chalk, native white chalk, and they put salt to it. They, they, they grant the white chalk, they put salt to it. You see them, they go out in the morning, they raise their heart to, to, to the heavenlies, and they, they, they do some kind of incantation, and they blow this white chalk into the, into the atmosphere. Brethren, you think that they are foolish? They are not foolish. They understand how the elements of the earth work. When I talk about the elements of the earth, I am talking about the moon, the sun, the star. I'm talking about 
the things that make up the 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 the, 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 the things that make up the the, the firmament that you are seeing brethren these people understand what how these things work and they have no how to covenant themselves with those elements and use it to program evil against people i pray as many of us that are hearing the word of god this morning we all we know how to discord their plans in the mighty name of jesus amen if you can hear me shout hallelujah 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 amen brethren i want us to turn our bible to the book of psalm 91 the psalmist understand them very well and he make us to understand the works of the devil concerning the day amen turn your bible to psalm 91 i read from verse one he said he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadows of the almighty verse two I will say of the Lord is my refuge and, and my fortress, my God, in him we like trust. Verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler. He shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisy pestilence. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feather, and under the wings thou shalt trust, thou shalt trust. Thou shalt under his wing shall that trust. His truth shall be the sheath and buckler. Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. Listen very well. This is where I want you to note, brethren. He said, For thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. In other words, there is terror, there is wickedness in the night hours. I go again. Nor for the arrow that fly by day. Note this very well. In other words, Every blessed day, there is an arrow that is flying. That is why you have to learn how to command your money. Brethren, if there is any psalm you need to cram, is this Psalm 91. You need to know how to recite this psalm without opening your Bible. Brethren, if, you, I, I, if there is any psalm that needs to be engraved in our memory, is this Psalm 91. You should know how to recite it and meditate upon it and use it to dislodge every plans of the wicked and whatsoever anything that has been programmed into your heart, you dislodge them. Brethren, Satan hate this Holy Ghost hour with all perfect hatred. You know why? After the abominable things that you have done through the night, you see people wake up, they just rush to work. Brethren, that is an error. If you are a child of God, you just wake up and you crash out like that without waiting upon the Lord, without praying. Brethren, that man or woman is the biggest gambler so far. I call them gamblers. You are gambling with your life. You are gambling with your family. You are gambling with your destiny. You know why? Because a lot of things have been programmed in the night, waiting for the manifestation in the physical. That thing that you think is a dream is no dream. Brethren, this spiritual controls the physical. If you know how to be victorious in the spiritual, you would be more than conqueror in the physical. I pray, as many of us that are hearing this word this morning, we all will become the victor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 He said, that is it. I, I take verses again. No, for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, no, the destruction that wasted a new day. Brethren, if you concentrate on these verses, you will discover there is destruction that are wasting people. How can somebody just put a bomb and go into crowd, go into train, go into buses and blew him or herself off? You should know this is what the psalmist was talking about. The destruction that wasted a new day. I pray as many of us that the Lord has brought to the cave of Adulam, none of us will be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I pray none of us will go out and not return back to our family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, No, for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, diseases. Diseases, all these strange diseases that you are seeing, these are the things that have been programmed during the night, manifesting in the physical. 
for the destruction that wasted the new day. If you go to verse 7, he said, A thousand shall fall at the side, and ten thousand at the right hand. He said, But it shall not come near thee. Verse 8, Only with the eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is the refuge, even the most high, the habitation. There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near the dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all the ways. To keep thee in all the ways. Brethren, for you to be able to command your money, you need to soak yourself into the word of God. You need to allow the word of God to be engraved in your spirit, man. You need to allow the word of God to be engraved in your brain, in your skull, that you may be able to to exercise the authority that has been given upon unto you as a child of God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Right then, what are we talking about? We are talking about commanding your money, taking authority over your day, programming the day how you want it to go with you. The Bible, I read it again, has that commanded the money since the day and caused the day spring because the dead spring to know his place, that he might take the host, host of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. Brethren, this is wickedness. If you turn your Bible to the book of John chapter 10, but, uh, sorry, Joshua chapter 10, verse 12, we can see a practical example that took place, and ever since nothing like that has ever taken place again. Turn your Bible to the book of Joshua. Turn your Bible to the book of Joshua chapter 10. Joshua chapter 10, I read from verse 12. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered all the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stay, stand down, till, stand down still upon Gibeon, the moon, in the valley of Ajalon, verse 13, and the sun stood still. Listen very well. This Joshua was a like, was a man just like you and I. He said, and the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemy. Is is not this written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, uh, hasting not to go down about a whole day. Verse 14, and there was no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord hearkened to the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, if you are loaded with the word of God, sometimes when I'm in, when I meditate on this thing, my spirit man is quickened. When I meditate on these words, my spirit man is lifted. This was a man like you and I. He commanded the moon, he commanded the sun to stay until he destroyed the enemy. This is the power of commanding. This is the power of commanding. Brethren, as a child of God, we all need to exercise the dominion power that has been given to you and I by God. If you turn your Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. He said, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. Listen. Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. Brethren, the earth has been given to you to subdue it. And have dominion. If you have been reading the scripture with a minded uh, a heart before, you need to ponder on this world. And you begin to hammer on this world, just like the lawmakers, when they are in that chamber, or when they are in, that, in the court defending the case, they, say, they will say, according to so-so and so, so-so and so, the law says, that this person is not liable to death, and I stand upon that ground. Brethren, as a child of God, you need to stand upon this ground and, and declare the word of God. He said, subdue it and have dominion. Have dominion. 
over the fishes of the sea, over the fowls of the earth, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Brethren, this is the authority, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the omnipotent God, the God that killeth and maketh alive, the God that seated up kings and unseated, the God that lifted up and brigade low, the God that maketh a way when there seems to be no way. This is the authority he has given upon unto us. No wonder he makes us to understand that they that do not know Christ, they that have not yet given their life to Christ. He said they are dead while they yet live. Brethren, what are we talking about? We are talking about the power, your covenant right as a child of God in commanding the money. I pray as many of us that have had this word this morning, we all we know how to command our day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, I want you to turn your Bible again to the book of, of the psalmist. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sorry, turn your Bible again to the, to the book of uh, Isaiah 44, verse 25. Isaiah 44, verse 25. I take it from verse 24. He said, Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer, I'm he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretch for the heavens alone, that spread, spread it abroad the earth by myself. Verse 25, that frustrate the tokens of the liars, that make it the diviners man, that turn it the wise men backward, and make it their knowledge foolish. Brethren, this is the king of kings. He's making you and I to understand the power of commanding. It's making you and I to understand how to dislodge the diviners. We all know the diviners, how they do their incantation, how they, they enter into covenant with the powers of the heavenlies in order to carry out their evil. But then he said, I make the diviners man. I turn the wise men backward and make it their lord and foolish. But then before any cancer will come to pass in the physical, those cancers must have been taking place in the night. What do you need to do? You have to dislodge it. You have to disrupt it. You have to nullify it. You have, you have to break their, their backbones, smit their cheekbones, and with fire, with, with, the, with the power of prayers, so that their deeds that they have programmed will not come to pass in your life during the day. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, brethren, as a child of God, you need to know how to exercise that authority that has been given to you by the King of Kings, so that the enemy will not will not take undue advantage of you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing you need to do after praising your God. After, after pleading for mercy and invite the presence of the Holy Ghost to come and take over your life, what do you need to do? You have to exercise the, the power, the covenant right that the Lord has bestowed upon you to dislodge every plan of the enemy. Remember, it's only the righteous that can do this. If you are not holy, if you are not righteous, everything that you will be doing will just be noise making. So for you to be able to exercise the authority that I've been given upon not to you, you need to be holy and righteous. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible makes us understand if you read Psalm 149, verse 6, it says, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Listen very well. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. Best. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand and a two edged sword in their hand. Verse 7. To execute vengeance upon the hidden and punish them and punishment upon the people. Verse 8. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Brethren, this is the authority that the Lord has given upon unto you with the children of God. For you to be able to bind the works of the devil, he said, let what? Let the, let the mouth, he said, let the high praise of God be in your mind. Learn how to glorify God. 
learn how to praise God. As you are going on, let the Lord be all and all in everything that you are going to do that day. Learn to live holy and righteous. Let the counsel of God guide you throughout that day. Put away bitterness, anger, hatred, frustration, mildness out of your heart so that you may be able to walk a good spiritual welfare. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13. Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13 is a popular scripture we all know very well. The Bible makes us to understand that the prayer. I want us to turn our Bible to the book of Proverbs, chapter, Proverbs chapter uh, 28, verse 13. He said, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whosoever confess and forsake them shall have mercy. Brethren, if you cover it in sin, there is no way you can prosper in this prayer. If you cover your sin, there is no way. If you cover your sin, there is no way you can be a commander. For you to be a commander, you have to be holy. You have to be righteous. You have to confess your evil ways, your 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 your, your sins, and dwell in holiness and righteousness. That you. God may have mercy upon you, that you may be able to exercise your covenant right as a child of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, brethren, you and I, what do we need to do? We need to do what? Live holy and righteous. No wonder the Bible makes us understand in the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. He said, I have sent you forth as sheep among the wolves. I have sent you forth as sheep among the wolves. How can a sheep survive in the midst of wolves? Know that scripture very well. He said, he said, you should be wise as the serpent and harmless as the dove. Be wise as the serpent and harmless as the dove. You all know serpent right from the very beginning. How he deceived Eve and make her to eat from the forbidden food. That is why the Bible is making you have you have to be very very subtle. Like the serpent, you have to be very, very wise. Like the serpent, I is going about. We children of God, we have to be wise. That is why the Bible makes you and I to understand. Be wise as the serpent and harmless as dove. Have you ever seen a dove? When you see a dove in the city where I am, they are so calm, they are so meek, they are so. You see how they go or they, they hurt nobody. You give them food, they come closer to you, they play with you. So can even fly in your hands and you play with them, you walk around with them. This is how we are supposed to be, to live our life. They are so innocent. Brethren, you have to be innocent. You have to be clean, within and without, that you may be able to command your money. So for you to be able to command your money, what do we need to do? Holiness, within and without. Because you know why? God does not answer the prayer of a sinner. God does not answer the prayer of a sinner. But the Bible says that the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto God. But when you confess, you are made your ways, and you forsake them, your, your sins, God will have mercy. Because the Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, he shall reap. So for you be able to be a conqueror, for you to be able to be a commander, you need to live holy and righteous. You need to dwell upon the word of God so that you will be able to exercise your covenant right. I pray, as many of us, that the Lord has brought to this cave of Adela that have had this world, we all will learn how to live holy, righteous, and be able to command the money and take authority over the day as we embark on our daily activities in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you there? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you there? You can mute your mic now. Are you there? You have not yet given your life to Jesus. You cannot be a commander. The Bible said you are an enemy of God. And the wrath of God abides in you. According to the book of John chapter 3, if you read the last verse of that thing, you are an enemy of God. What do you need to do? For you to be able to survive in this wicked world, you need to give your life to Christ and no, then you will not be able to command your day, your money, and you live a peaceful life on here on earth and you will return back to God and dwell in eternity. So brethren, if you are there, you have not yet given your life to Jesus. I don't know where you are hearing the sound of my voice. 
I want you to repeat this prayer of a confession before me. Praise the Lord. Pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this morning. I know I am a wretched sinner. I know I'm not worthy of standing before you. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior today. Lord Jesus, come and take over my life. Come and guide me. Come and take charge of my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you for coming into my life. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus, as many that have come before you, Lord, this morning, to accept you as the Lord and personal Savior, that have confessed their sins, that have cried unto you this morning, and come into your presence to, for you to become their Lord and personal Savior, Father, I pray that you make your face to shine upon them, O Lord. Father, I pray that you guide and take absolute perfect control of their life. Father, I pray that you order their steps. Father, I pray that that covenant right, that dominion power that you have released upon your children right from the creation of the world, that power begin to operate in them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you strengthen them, remove that stony heart away from them and give them that heart of flesh. And I pray that you make your world to be fetter, to make the heart fetter for your word to grow in your heart. But I pray that this word of God that will be coming now and then we sanctify them, we build them, we strengthen them and make them strong in your buyer in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I put your seed upon this one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Yeah. So as many that have done this, I congratulate you. You are the most wisest man on planet Earth for taking this great decision. I pray the Lord will keep you, the Lord will strengthen you, the Lord will empower you and make you to remain faithful in his vineyard. May the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.